Hello there, this is Nicholas Mingini again. I'm here to show you one of my very first projects I made when I was around 14 years old, back in sophomore in high school. So this was a long time ago. Anyways, I made Pac-Man. Now, as you can see, I made every one of these images, as you see in front of you, myself. Uh, you know, just using, using paint, you know, back in Windows XP, long, long ago. Uh, as you can see, I wasn't that great of a programmer back then. You know, this was the first year of programming, uh, what was it, like 10, 11 years ago. So I got a lot of timers, you know, I used to using Visual Basic, um, and as I'll show you later, a lot of if statements. But, I'll show you the game. So, let's play. Ugh, I'm dead. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm moving around. You know, you can't go through lines, you can't go through lines. So I got some boundaries set up. Ghosts are running around using a basic AI. Basically, uh, when they hit a wall, they turn. <laughs> Unless they hit a wall, they won't ever turn. So, you can warp through here and whatnot. You get points for eating dots, uh, and then the ghosts just wander around. Now, it was very simplistic in all my ideas going on here. I just place dots all over the screen and, you know, place the ghosts and I've got timers that actually run and the ghosts will uh, move around a little bit due to the timers every frame and, oh, uh, and if the ghosts touch you they kill you. Now their hitboxes are quite big and ah, he got me. So, oh, we lost, we lost all our lives. So, you can actually start a new game and move on. Um, if you ever get all the dots, <coughs> you can move on to the next level, which is, well, the same level just over again. But it is quite difficult to do so, because as you can see, they are patrolling that middle area. There's just no way I'm going to get it. I've never been able to really get to the end outside of one or two times. So I can't show you here. But that's pretty much the game here. you got several guys running around. And, you know just to show that I can't go through the level. Pac-Man moves around by himself, or I can hold the button down, and he speeds up. <laughs> it's a little little hack, but uh, in reality it's more of a feature, you know? <laughs> uh, so, let's move on. Let's show you some code. <clears throat> so, in our code here, you know, using va very basic visual basic stuff, you know, you can Death, lives, whatnot. Pac-Man scrolls across the top of the screen, and whatnot. You know, I'm setting up everything. Apparently, I can't scroll in Visual Basic. This was a long time ago that I made this. Um, <clears throat> now, here's what I'm talking about. If you push, I believe that's uh, was it left or right? I don't know. One of the directions. Then test an if statement against every single wall. And if those if statements let you, you can move left. Uh, if the if statements, well, basically, if the if statements are true, that means you're colliding with it, so don't move that direction. And that's what this does, you know, plus zero. Don't do it. Uh, meanwhile, if you can do it, you know, if you don't hit any of the walls going left, is that left? Yes, you are moving left. Then you can move left. Uh, so I do it against all the walls you could possibly hit from the right side because you're moving left. And then I do it again. I believe this is moving right. Yes. Hitting walls from the left side because you're moving right. Uh, same in up and down directions. Now, furthermore, to, to make things, uh, you know, even more terrible as they are, <laughs> grab a timer. This ghost is trying to move right run all of those if statements, literally copy paste it into here to detect or is this ghost going to hit the right, you know, a wall on the left side because it's trying to move right. If not, then actually move. Now then, <laughs> if you do hit a wall, then it says move another direction. Uh, and it decides it here. Uh, I can also go through warps, uh, as you can, however, because of how they're placed and because they will never turn against, you know, unless they hit a wall, it'll just never happen. But, aside from all that, 
uh, this is just to show you that, you know, 10, 11 years ago when I made this program, I knew very little. We hadn't even gone over functions yet. All we lear learned were if statements and timers, and that's what I did. <laughs> Anyways, that was it. So thanks for watching.